Hello everyone, you're watching Atlanta Brickco TV. Welcome to Between the Studs. I'm your host, Mark, and today we've got Landon and Joe. Howdy, howdy. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty good? Not too shabby. A little too cold, shabby. but... A little cold, okay, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, I'm more in short sleeves. It's yeah, still yeah. winter weather, and you're wearing very short shorts, shorts Landon. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Choices were made here. Okay. Exactly. Anyways, to yourself. <laughs> Feel like I did. Like, now, <laughs> those watching the video can't see that, but, you know, it's... Uh, anyway, um, take his word. Yeah, yeah, we'll take your word for it, Landon. Now, um, today's subject is going to be, the, the reason we have our two Marvel experts is because we have oh, is that what we are? Marvel sets. And in this case, normally we talk about, oh yeah, it's the best Marvel sets, but we're putting a little twist on it. This is actually kind of Joe's recommendation. Mm -hmm. This isn't the, necessarily the best Marvel sets. It's, we think so, because they're our yeah. favorite exactly. Marvel sets. So the most meaningful sets to these three people here. And I think that'll be a more meaningful content and, video. Yeah. But and yeah. Most likely, these are going to end up being some of the best, <laughs> yeah. if not the best Marvel Most sets. Most of the best Marvel sets. Some of think. us have good taste. <laughs> yeah. A few. Yeah. Some of us might not. <laughs> I, I, okay, I have weird taste. Mark okay. always has the weird taste. I have taste. the weird sense, and I always get outvoted. It's okay. <laughs> it, it adds a different flair, you know? It's yeah, good. There you go. All right. Um, uh, I usually start, and I guess I'll go ahead and start this, this list, but uh, we've each picked out six of our favorite Marvel sets. The first one that I want to talk to you guys about is is one of the most recent Marvel sets. It's 2024. Ooh. It's the X-Men X-Jet. That, that made it number six on your list. Yes, oh. number there six. You go. Uh, the, it's, it's lower on my list than it could have been mm -hmm. because I think this set does have a few flaws. Um, but I'm, let me talk about what I like about it first. First of all, it's beautiful dark blue X-Men X-Jet. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. There's very few physical issues with the build itself. Um, I think this is going to be a lot more sturdy and more... Uh, realistic to the original 90s comic and uh, TV show. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. It um, the, the problems I have are the price. Obviously. Because yeah. it's 359 parts and it's $84.99 retail, retail now. Like, it's not like it's retired and it's gone up. It's retail. Yeah. And because of that huge... Pr I'll actually compare some of the prices of other sets on my list when they started selling mm -hmm. and the parts count. It's kind of... It doesn't look good You'll in that it, comparison. Yeah. However, I still think it looks great and the figures are amazing. Many we haven't seen before. The one problem with the figures is Magneto looks a little odd. Apparently, he's kind of like a comic version from a specific yeah. comic. However, I like Magneto with a helmet. I'm glad they gave him a hair, but the outfit still is kind of that magenta color. I see him as more red on the outfit yeah. based on the show and the comics. Anyway... Semantics aside, I do love this set. What do you guys think about X Men X Jet? Like you said, it definitely is expensive. Yeah, on the <laughs> it's very expensive, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, I think it's a good set. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Joe? Yeah, the set's good. Like you said, X Jet. We've gotten one before in yeah. 2014 or something. It was all right. It wasn't bad. It came with some good figs, but this again, the figs are kind of the highlight. Yeah, Magneto's weird, but you also get a Cyclops, which we haven't gotten since. A that really last good one. looking Cyclops. And he's better. Yeah. We got a Wolverine. We've gotten a couple of those recently. No, mm -hmm. nothing crazy. And then we got Rogue, which we've never got Rogue before. And they, they nailed her. She looks yeah. great. So overall, I mean, it's good. It's just if it was a fifty dollars set, I'd probably pick it up. But yeah. I just I can't justify it for eighty five dollars. Like this is going to be above the price threshold for a lot of Marvel films. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. um, if this was a forty dollar or fifty dollars set, I think it would sell like hotcakes. Oh, yeah. If it was sixty dollars, we'd still give it a pass because it's X Men. It's a license. It's expensive. But then they just went insane. It's crazy. So um, yeah, I think Lego, this, that's for you. I think this one <laughs> will be yeah. sitting around for a while in store shelves. It won't sell as well as they'd expected because of the price. Uh, right. But some people buy it not knowing that it's overpriced. I don't yeah. Know. No. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, Landon, what you got on your list? Right. Hopefully, it's not overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, mine's actually retired. Mine came out back in twenty uh, fourteen. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, this was my first ever Marvel set. Ooh. And I got it for Christmas. My grandparents got it for me. I was nine. Nice. Um, wow. It's a little Landon. So, a little Landon little, had this one. Landon. But it's um, 76015. It's Doc Ock's truck heist. So it came with Doc Ock, came with Spider-Man, and it came with the um, truck driver. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many pieces was in it, but... Um, yeah, it was a good set. I think it retailed for twenty. I want to say nineteen ninety nine. A bargain nice. back yeah. then, yeah. But yes, that is. Uh, we're gonna start out with that one. That's the first one. Let's yeah. Here's with... here's that picture. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna edit in B roll yeah. for anything yeah. we don't have on the table, exactly. which is a lot. Yeah. But yeah. Landon, so it, given this one, of your earlier Lego sets, I'm guessing, did you have a lot of fun experiences playing with these characters? Yeah. Oh did yeah. They make it in all your scenes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know those, those guys are, are gone. Yeah, I was about to say th those guys were definitely damaged. Yeah. <laughs> definitely damaged. Not mint. No. They were no, a little crunchy, mint. chewy. Like, uh, just a little bit. You didn't, like, bit. eat your figures. You just No, I, I wasn't a weird kid like that. That's good. No, no Joe was on the 
How you know it? I used to use my teeth on Lego bricks. I feel bad about it. No, okay. fair. We yeah. all have I, I think dark pasts when it comes to Lego. But this is a great <laughs> set, though. Doc Ock, I mean, great figure. Yeah, because now he retails for, like, what the set was back when it came yeah, out. Yeah, it's like the same price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so, insane. Yeah, I, I like this set. I always like Doc Ox because he's one of the best Spider-Man villains, in my opinion, and that's the uh-huh. one, if, I, if I'm if i thinking right, with the, um, gosh, what's the color scheme? The white and the... The white and green? Yeah, mm-hmm. is yeah. that the right one? Yeah, yep. that that is one of my favorite ones because he's kind of yeah. like got the lab coat. And right, it's, it's like a little he's still yeah. Doctor, but then it's like... He's a villain, villain. Doctor Ox. He fits the character really well from comics and movies. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. It's, it's a good set. I agree. Awesome. I mean, that nostalgia factor, mm-hmm. uh, you yeah. can't beat that with sets. And I'm sure this has gone up a little bit if you want to get a complete one now. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have one at the store right now, I but you can find them on Bricklink, and yeah. eBay, and other places. You can find yeah. Them. yeah. Cool. All right. What you got, Joe? So number six on my list is also a nostalgia set for me. This is the Milano battle mm-hmm. from the first Guardians movie. It came out in 2014. I remember coming to the store and buying a built one in like 2017 mm-hmm. when I first came here, um, and we were over in the old building. And I bought it, and it was it was built. Didn't have the figures. I got some of the figures or something. I don't remember, but I loved that set. Like, dude, that was so much fun to play with. It's a great build. Like looking back now, it's still a great set. I don't have it anymore. It's it's destroyed, <laughs> but it's still a great. Yeah, that always happens. <laughs> great sets. <laughs> It's designed well. It's got great minifigures. It mm-hmm. comes with um, Peter Quill in his Ravager outfit, Gamora in the Ravager outfit, Drax with the, dra- well, his pants. He obviously doesn't wear a shirt because of his sensitive nipples. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it comes like with. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and then it comes with one of the, you know, just like Sicarians or whatever they're called, the yeah. bad guys. And then it comes with Ronin. And that is, like, the highlight of the set. That is an amazing figure. And they just made a new one that's also really good. But that old one had a uniquely molded helmet piece. It was just, he's an amazing figure. And he's, like, 80 bucks. So, I mean, yeah. it makes sense. He's a big part of the value of that set yeah. with characters like So, I mean, this is a great set. It's nostalgic, but it's also still a good set. And it's number six because the rest of my stuff is just better. So. A little bigger and better. Yeah. There there you go. Can't help uh, being a little picky. You know, size matters when it comes to <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Lego. Joe, Joe, I feel like we actually talked about Ronan in this very room with this very crew I, uh, not too long ago. We might yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Did we mention that? I feel like he was one of our picks for top figures. I, we'll have to oh, do yeah. a little clickable yours, link of it. I'm sure he was. I, I, yeah. He's an amazing figure. That's a great yeah. figure. But yeah. We've already covered Marvel figs, but Marvel sets is what we're talking about today. And I will say, most Marvel sets, if I buy them, I do buy them for the figs. That's a big factor, right? Yeah. Yeah. But again, a lot of times we get great sets too. Yeah. Well, uh, that, speaking of great sets, the next one on my list is the new Hulkbuster. Oh, uh, no. It's, <laughs> I just did well, it. I was like, there's no way you I, actually. I'm glad I looked that. over. To, no, 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 no. We're actually. Uh, the, the, the Black Panther. So, bust. before I get yeah. into my next set, I want to go on a little tangent, a little yeah. rabbit trail. We got time. Might as well mention it. So, uh, as I was looking through all the superhero sets, I had to go. At th- on Bricklink, there's not an easy way to see Marvel for some reason. Uh-huh. You have to kind of go through Batman, yeah. too. Yeah, because it's superhero. But I'm looking at Marvel sets, and I'm like, oh, that's a great Marvel set. That's a great Marvel set. That's a great. And I'm like, oh, Oh, that's a terrible Marvel set. That's an <laughs> awful Marvel set. I was like getting some cringe vibes from. There's not a middle ground. Really. There's it's fifty fifty. There's a ton of great sets and there's a ton of pretty cringe yeah. Marvel sets no, too, like um, uh, uh, Eternals. Yeah, the All big Eternals. S- the, Those the are bad. Hulkbuster, Black Panther Buster yeah. are a little bit troublesome. What, what's more concerning is when we've gotten these more recent big ones like the Hulkbuster and the Black Panther Bus. Great ideas. Yeah, but Mentally. the execution, horrid. Yeah, it <laughs> wasn't working. The Hulkbuster. I've seen a great rebrickable of it using all the same parts. That looks like the Hulkbuster. That thing, that yeah. don't. That it looks look awkward. Right. Yeah, it just looks <laughs> awkward. And then the Black Panther bust. Too many. You know, not enough parts for the price. And just if they'd done that as in one of the helmet ones, mm-hmm. dude, I would have bought that it immediately. Been yeah, but it's just it's too, it's big. too big. Yeah. Um, there's there's little little things that aren't working for a lot of fans. And that's yeah. why these sets are on but sale. But they also but. do good big sets too. We'll yeah. get to that later. Yeah, for sure. And like, um, yeah, obviously we have a ton of favorite sets. But yeah. there's a ton of sets that were like that is definitely a, a misstep. But mm-hmm. I wanted to rant on that for a minute. But one set that for me wasn't a misstep and could have been was the Thor's hammer uh, set number seven six two oh nine. This is only a couple years ago. And uh, oh, oh, we have one right here. You you can only be worthy. <laughs> Exactly, and this is a this is a great big sculptural yeah. set, and, I, and it was a good price point. It was a hundred dollars, which is not 
crazy. It's most people can afford that if they save I up mean, a little bit. Look at the size. Yeah. And it's it, you get what your value for yeah. it. Yeah. And it, it also comes with that little base plate. Exactly. That you can just set it on. I mean, I have mine displayed at home, just sitting on the little thing on the, on the floor because mm -hmm. it, it works. <laughs> and on then the floor is, is that because you can't pick it up? <laughs> uh, You're not worthy. Well, it's also because <laughs> space is an issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just strong enough to do stuff with. Yeah, like you can swing it around a little bit. You can yeah. Yeah, that's probably bad for the audio. <laughs> Sorry, no. guys. I know it's really loud. Here, see, watch this. <laughs> you wish. No, um, if you guys are interested, after you finish this video, Jonathan from Mini Superheroes Today did a video on this when it came out. And I Shout watched out to it. Jonathan. Yeah. And it was a great video. It was hilarious. He had way too much fun with it. But he was just smashing stuff like <laughs> fruits and cupcakes. I think he tried a watermelon with it. And it, yeah. it held up most of the time pretty well. Yeah. So a very fun set that I had to mention as, like, Marvel's tried some wild stuff, and not all of it lands. In yeah. fact, some of the the more ambitious builds don't mm -hmm. succeed, but that one really did for me. And I, so I there's agree. a couple diamonds in the rough. But, uh, yeah, and I, obviously you guys both enjoy Thor. Oh, yeah. You I, own this. I, you don't own this I don't one? Own that one? Yeah, I, I had to worthy. pick that up. Yeah, mm -hmm. come on, man. Unfortunately. This is one of the few Marvel sets I own and keep together. I have it here at the studio in yeah. case we need it for anything, but this <laughs> is my set that know. I bought. Yeah, yeah. So. Great set. All righty. Well, uh, Landon, what's the All next right. thing you have? All right, so uh, number two on my list will be another Spider-Man and... Um, Spider-Man! Doc Ock set. This one actually comes with... Do you want me to yeah, hold yeah, it up like that? For All sure. right. So this one actually comes with um, Iron Fist, and mm. I, don't, I think that they released the Iron Fist series on Disney+, Plus, but um, I watched it back when it was on Netflix, and mm. I was a huge fan of it, and this is one reason why I like this set. Mm -hmm. Now, Iron Fist was not one of my top five minifigs. No. I feel like he kind of should have been, so mm -hmm. we might need to new, do a new video on that. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, this one came out back in 2012. Wow. And, Early um, Marvel. This, this actually, it's a different... Um, Doc Ock minifig, so the one that yeah. you know, like we were talking about, he comes with the lab coat. I also like this, this one. Actually, a lot. I, yeah, I think this one is a little bit better in a way. Dark and gritty version it, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it rhymes, reminds me of the one from the comics. Yeah, but, yeah, um, fair. yeah, I did this. I chose this one just because of Iron Fist, strictly. Yeah. So we can clearly see Landon like sets for the minifigs. Yeah. Basically, it's fair. Like I said, with Marvel, a lot of times that's what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The set itself, it's fine. Decent. Like it's nothing crazy, yeah. but. Great fix, like Iron Fist. Yeah. They've only made him once in that set. Right. That, that Doc Ock, I'm pretty sure, is exclusive is. to that set as well. Exclusive. Yeah. That that Spider Man is only in 50 other sets. <laughs> <laughs> only. That is the probably the most affordable superhero yeah, figure ever. Yes. But I mean, his numbers like SH 384. I mean, something that you could just. No, that's not it. That's, it's not 384. There's that's no way. That is much not zero that. something. It's zero 92 maybe. I don't yeah. know. Something. I, I think we have them for like four or five bucks. A, I yeah. mean, yeah. There's it's so many cheap. out there. Very affordable. But that's the best thing about it is if you're a kid and you yeah. want Spider-Man, you only got five yeah. bucks from mowing the lawn, you can get them. Zero thirty-eight. I think that's what it is. Okay. It is 38, Sorry. yes. I, I think that's it. Yeah. We'll check it later. But um, There's something. Landon, this might hurt your feelings. You fact check. Mark doesn't like this. I have a fun comment on this set. Um, Landon, I'm only vaguely aware of Iron Fist. I know that there was a show and yes. this guy just like punching, and that's great. What is it? Fact Zero check. Yeah, it is three. Okay. Took me a minute. I got that. That's good. But um, I, I, if I looked at this set and I didn't read that Iron Fist was in it, I would have thought that was like Green Batman or Robin or something. <laughs> <laughs> a little fair. bit. Yeah. A I, little I, bit. I would say it kind of looks. That's like my Robin ignorance coming yeah. through, and I'm sorry. A little bit. Just letting you know. Fun, fun fact. Yes. Um, I wouldn't have uh, pegged it as a. Um, Iron Fist, so yeah. That's funny. Yeah, because I mean, if you go watch the MCU, um, Iron Fist is not connected with Spider Man. I mean, t no, technically now really. with, the, with the multiverse, he is, but you know, there was never a you know, movie or show where, where yeah. they fought alongside. But They're not typical combinations. Right, yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Iron Fist is pretty weak if you got captured. So. Oh, yes, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Maybe in this have universe. Have a old <laughs> Reskin. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard he has some pretty powerful punches. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, do you have any powerful punches in your next set you want to I do. I have a larger set. This is my fifth one. And I don't know how I, I just kind of ranked these. And I'm, I think this is my true opinion. But this is a good set. For this to be at number five, I'm kind of surprised. I think I just have the best list here. That's really Oh, okay. Sense. Okay. Uh, this is the new from last year, Sanctum Sanctorum. Oh, the modular the style. The modular style one that can go with the bugle. And it's a really good set. You know, it's modular size, about this tall. It's a corner. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It looks great. I love the color, the dark, or the sand green roof. And then, of course, you get amazing mini figures, like several different Doctor Stranges, a couple different, um, gosh, what are those people called? Uh, Wanda, you get Wanda, mm -hmm. you get uh, Mordo. Dude, and an amazing sand green Mordo. That is one mm -hmm. of my favorite figs that comes in it. 
Uh, I think you get Wong because it would be Wong not to include him. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then I think Spider-Man, Spider-Man Iron and Iron. That's the ones I was trying to think of. And then uh, Ebony Maul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And gosh, there's one more that's right there. Wait, Did you guess t- Supreme Strange? Right? Yeah, and then the, and then the, the Dead evil. Strange. Yeah. So multiple Doctor Strange variants. Yeah, experience. multiple yeah. Doctor Stranges. Is that it? Might be it. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot of good figures that are in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, you know, it's a very iconic place. You go to it in Doctor Strange. You go to it in uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, obviously, but also Infinity War. Avengers, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thor, Ragnarok. Thor? Yeah. So it, it shows up several times, and you get really cool, iconic things inside of it. They also have three different sections on it that have portals that you can move. So one of the portals is just open. Um, one of the sections is not a portal. It's a, a like a... Uh, signed for Captain America's story, mm-hmm. which is cool, and then the the beast coming out of it, the um, tentacle monster, the tentacle, yeah. <laughs> um, gargantuan or mm-hmm. gargantuous, whatever his name is. So that's really cool. That's fun. Yeah, that's a great set. Uh, Landon, have you, you you've we've seen this at the store? Yeah, do you own this? I, I don't own it. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> wa- I'm waiting to get the uh, the. Avengers. <laughs> Avengers Tower, I'm yeah. saying for that. Oh, okay. The, the yeah. Avengers Tower, since this has come up, is also part of the modular system of the sets they're doing with Marvel. Marvel Modulars. And yeah. I would totally pick that, but I haven't seen it yet, I don't have it yet, so it's an honorable mention now. It probably will be one of my top sets once <laughs> I get my hands on one, yeah, the, which I'm very excited for. I want somebody to trade one in so I can buy it. <laughs> there you go. The list will shuffle soon, is what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Exactly. So, yeah, we might have to do a part two one of these days. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, yeah, good set, Joe. I, for me, I love the colors. I love. Mm-hmm. I, I like the size, but then again, I think it's a little too big. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, mm-hmm. it's actually, you know what? I, I could bring that up next, actually. But um, uh, great set, amazing figures. I like having the different Doctor Stranges yeah. because he's such a multiverse traveler. It makes sense to bump into his own characters, get those as a mini figure. Really fun. So good set. But um, I would point out though that I think that the original the Sanctum Sanctorum 76108 is better to me I don't know I'm this is the hot take of the video here guys but I like the old version Which better, one is better? Um, it, now the version that Joe picked the latest version is the biggest nicest version yes. I will definitely concede that but I do like some of the figures going on in the old one just as well you got the actually right here yeah <laughs> you got the the big fig here what's his name Cole Cole Obsidian, Cole Obsidian. he's pretty cool looking awesome I, I like any big fig is yeah. gonna look great cool. no great fig um, you got Ebony the Maw. kind of the Ebony Maw. I think he's got the glow in the dark head, or no? No, he doesn't. Just kind he of that could color. Have been, but he's not. Looks kind of like it. You got the Doctor Strange, but most importantly, you got that very cool Iron Spider. Iron Spider. Right? He's yeah. like what eighty dollars, hundred dollars yeah. around that. He's expensive. Iron Man, good version of Iron it Man. Is. I think that has the good helmet, which is important yeah, because they was... changed it shortly after. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is also kind of representative of an era of Marvel. This is in twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. This was going into Infinity War. You there's, had there's peak. You had all me. the stones. This has the time stone. And this is the only way you could get the time stone at the time. This uh, made this yeah. the hottest set ever. I mean, the, like, Lego Marvel, like, it, the, the hype was so palpable in the store. People were like, do you have the Infinity Stones? And these things were selling like hotcakes. It was yeah. amazing. So the best marketing strategy I've seen Lego do in a long time. But uh, because of that feeling, because of the, the figures, I even like the building. It's well executed for a $100 set versus, I don't know how much the newer Two, one goes to. 250 250 It's a little bit bigger. But um, I just like this version. What do you guys think about the comparison? Do you like having two versions? Do you like the bigger version only? What's your thoughts? All right, I'm about to go off on you. Oh, 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 okay. In, in a great way. <laughs> okay. I, I, have, I bought this in 2018, and I still have it. Yeah, there I you go. have it with all the figs. It's an amazing set. Mm-hmm. I was so hyped when the Infinity War sets came out. Yeah. I was... I was excited about let's that. Let's see, I'm that was six years ago. Fan. So I was, like... 14, 15. Peak years. And I was I was into Marvel, and I was like, man, these Infinity War sets, of course, I didn't have much money. I was working here, so that helped. I got to see when they came in, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I have to get them all. I yeah. have to get the Infinity Stones. It's just, I can't not get them all. <laughs> it's so the, the collectible. <laughs> the first set I got was the one that came with Thanos and the Gauntlet, the uh, the new, the, the Benatar, yep. the mm-hmm. Avengers ship. And I was like, all right, cool. I have the Gauntlet. I have to get the Stones. And I slowly got them all. The last one I got, I think, was the Corvus Glaive one. Mm-hmm. The yellow stones, yeah, yeah. Which came with Vision and, and the yellow stones. And it had a c- expensive season for a while it, there. Yeah, yeah, this is my favorite one because it's the best set, best figs. And that I still will say that is the best Doctor Strange we've ever gotten, mm-hmm. best Spider-Man we've ever gotten probably. Yeah. 
a very good Iron Man. I really like. It looks just like the one from the movie where it's you know it's the nanotech instead of the, yeah. the physical armor. It's and a then, great version of him. Yeah. And then they nailed it with Ebony Maw. Looks just like Squidward. <laughs> exactly. And then uh, Cole Obsidian, big fig. You know they get the shoulder pad. He's got his double hammer thing. I, I mean, really, there's no flaws with the set because it was also not only the Sanctum, but they also made it Spider-Man's apartment. Yeah, because right. they were like, hey, let you know, let's right there. do this yeah. different on the other side. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> a great set. Hey, I hey, Joe's input on it. Yeah. I have a good take. Okay. The, the, the question is. Which one looks cool on display, and which one is more of a playset? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I feel that's like literally that, what it that is. That one's more of a playset, hey, whereas the one I played with that man. I played <laughs> hey, there you that. go. I think you nailed it, Landon. This is uh, hundred dollars designed to be more approachable, playable. Right. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think that the big one is probably that's a better marketed. display piece. That's yeah. marketed towards me now. That was marketed towards me then. So I mean, it <laughs> worked out. They great. got you coming and going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. Awesome. All, All right. right. So um, number three on my list. Are, are we going down or are we going up? I mean, I'm going up. I started with one. Then two. Uh, that was one of my better ones. I went out of order. So just whatever you All feel right, like talking about next. next. All right. So the next set we're working with is um, 76050. And this is from Civil War. This came with Crossbones, Black Widow, and Falcon. Mm-hmm. Now, Falcon's my favorite superhero. Again, I don't know why I didn't choose him in the last video oh, that we man. did. Wow. Should have been Falcon. Well, anyway, sucks, man. Falcon is, Fal- a Falcon is definitely one of my favorite characters. Um, I don't know what happened with the show on Disney Plus. We're not going to talk about that. But anyway, him in the movies, he is uh, he's insane. He's something else. But um, this came out back in 2016 when the movie came out, and this was an affordable set. It was like 20 bucks. You get three figs. You get the vehicle, and um, yeah, like I said, Falcon, perfect set right here. Yeah, a great collectible. Classic Marvel set. Um, Falcon's an awesome character. That's a really good version of that yeah. character, that, that's too. That's the best one. Um, and then Black Widow looks good. We got the... Uh, I don't know that much about Crossbones. I was like, we were talking about that before. Yeah. and like, who the heck is Crossbones? Uh, but no, he's that character he, that he was... was yeah, he, he, he was in the other Captain America movies. Yeah, yeah he was a Captain America character. So. Yeah. And it is interesting. It's a brand with Civil War. I know. So this would have come out during those years. Yeah. That's awesome. All the Civil War sets say yeah. that on it. Yeah, so for me, again... I was really big into the Civil War sets. Even though there was just the three, I Mm -hmm. really wanted to get them all. The only one I never got, and I still don't have it, I mean, I have elements of it, is the airport battle. But Mm. this one, I I was the second one I got. But the first set I ever bought from this store was the Black Panther jet. Yeah. And I was so excited to get that and this one and have them together. They go well together. It was also the first time they did a Captain America, except for the big helicarrier, that had no hood. And mm-hmm. It was his head, and it, it's not a crazy looking head, but it was just like the idea of it was like, oh, look, they finally did Captain mm-hmm. America without his hood on. Exactly. But that set it, is in my bulk somewhere because I played with it so freaking much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I destroyed that set so uh, many times, rebuilt it. It had great uh, play I features. You real quick. D- did you say three Civil War sets? Yes. I'll, I'll explain. They did the three initially. The next year they made the okay. tanker truck, which oh, I have I was, the tanker truck. Say, no, yes, they did the three. I was, was going to say, I thought there were at, four. Yes, at the time. That's yeah. what I mean. No, good, Fact good checking, call. that's good. Good <laughs> call. No, the, the tanker sh- truck is actually an amazing set as yeah. well. I have that one. Mm-hmm. Um, good Spider-Man. But today. yeah, no, just amazing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I loved playing with that so much. Yeah. I got so, so much use out of that. <laughs> exactly. So t- to your comment, Lana, and to your comment, Joe, this is a very uh, playable, approachable set, and we love that kind of yeah. price yeah. point. It's got all these little flick fire uh, or um, stud shooters. shooters, all these great stuff happening. The thing is, I think that we're also kind of leaning towards the figures, especially mm-hmm. as we get older. So yeah. the Crossbones Jeep will probably end up in a lot of kids' collections. Is That's how it yeah. ended up. But uh, I think that it's still a good set, and that's what it was made to do: is be built and enjoyed. So, yep. yeah. great set. So. All right, Joe, what's the next one on your list here? Number four on my list, an amazing set, mm-hmm. is Thor versus Hulk Arena Clash from Thor Ragnarok. Yes. Now, Mark wanted this on his list, but I, I was like, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought you had it. He did. And I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, like, I, I get I, it. I like this set too much, and I, I have this set, so I, I kind of get the, the privilege of taking that one. Mm-hmm. It's a great set. It has the best Marvel figure ever made, 
the Loki, I, which I we, chose. We, we, we talked yeah. about that. That I, it's probably the best one. I, it's hard to beat that. He's the dark blue outfit with the yellow cape. That slick looking Loki. Amazing figure. Great set though. Like mm-hmm. that. He's the best part of it, but the rest of it's amazing too. It's actually a good build, mm-hmm. which like I, we've mentioned, some Marvel builds. Not great. You want it for the fix. This one, you want the whole set. And I have the whole looks, set on yeah, display. Yeah, it's cool on display. It looks like the wall. You know, obviously it doesn't wrap around the whole arena, but you've got the little podium with the door and then wrap around. And it's, it looks great. It also comes with the best Hulk ever, which is the armored Hulk with, you know, the face paint. Gladiator Hulk, yeah. He just looks dope. Has great weapons that were designed very well. And then you get the Grandmaster, who's st- actually... It's funny. He's a cheap figure. He's like a eight, ten dollar figure compared to the other ones that are like 30 40 bucks. you know. Um, but he's he looks great, just like you know Jeff Goldblum would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Comes with a really cool guard who is also pretty cheap. I think he bought a couple when we first got him in because they're like that purple and black looking guys. Very spacey looking. And then it yeah. comes with Thor, obviously from the arena, and he's got that was the first time they gave him a helmet. I remember being so excited about that when the Ragnarok six came out because we were like, oh my gosh, they finally gave Thor a comic helmet. <laughs> yep. And it was it was just Pulls exciting. His ears up. It, you can play with it so much if you want to. I, I, I'm sure I did some when I first got it, but it's it's a great set, and the figures are phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal is what, how I would describe this set, Joe. It's awesome. And if you get more than one copy, I don't think most people did, but... You could uh, make a bigger arena, yeah. Uh, shout out to Mini Superheroes today. Again, he, he's talked about how you can totally make a bigger arena and have yeah. a good time with it, so... Yeah. Um, amazing figures. Uh, Landon, do you have this one or no? Um, I did have it. I don't know what I ended up doing. Did with it, have but it. But the figures, like what Joe was saying, the figures in it definitely Top tier. are a boost right there. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, um, this might be a weird thing that I do, but I collect all the Jeff Goldblum minifigs. So hey, it's a little, hey, little weird. weird. <laughs> it's it. a little, little weird. But anyway, I I, I'm a huge Jeff Goldblum fan, mm-hmm. so have to have that set with the figure. I, I collect all the Cedrics. Oh, yeah. There yeah. You go. So now, now we're even. Because, I mean, like they're all the same guy. <laughs> but, yeah, like what Joe was saying, best Loki yeah. by far. Amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel it's, movies, Yeah, too. that also so helps. It is a great movie. Yeah, the, and there's been some good and bad Thor movies. Well, not bad. Less than I dis- stellar. All right, yeah. right. we'll not go to <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. I disagree. Change the subject. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Um, yeah, so um, next one that I've got, let's see here. Okay, um, we talked about how certain movies kind of for me especially certain movies kind of impacted the way we look at some of these sets and kind of you remember that nostalgic period of the last couple of years um one thing for me was iron man's hall of armor when this set came out it created a frenzy and uh, like you know infinity war was the same thing thor ragnar was the same thing avengers civil war all these moments were great but when that hall of armor came out every person and their grandma had to collect every single Iron Man <laughs> figure and that's all that we sold for like a year yeah. <laughs> was Iron Man figures and they all skyrocketed in price. It was a phenomenon. Yeah. And it was all because you could now arrange all your Iron Man figures. Just like he did. Which is something that you could have done for forever yeah. but it, it just now it made it easy to do it and it created such a, a need and a want for figures that I that we really haven't quite seen that kind of frenzy. frenzy. I mean, like in, Infinity War is probably the only thing that's similar to it with the stones, yeah. but um, it was such a such a cool moment. Um, the set number is seven six one two five. Yeah, 2019, I have that one memorized by heart. Yeah, twenty nineteen. It was originally fifty nine dollars, uh, fifty ninety nine, and it was a, an approachable, great way to start your Iron Man figure collection, which became the biggest thing. It was so for that reason, I really love that set. I love that moment, even though I think I don't even. I might have one or two Iron Man figures. I, I never got into the hype. Maybe I will one day, um, but it's it was so memorable to me, to me. Did you guys ever fall for the Iron Man craze back when he, I, I he passed away? Spo- spoilers, yeah. So yeah, I, I got three of those sets. Yeah, there you go. And then I also uh, didn't they come out with like a, a extra pack so you could extend it? They had a smaller version a that came out just later. a little bit later, and then they have another one that was just recently put out that right. was like two stories mm-hmm. bigger. Yeah. And so they're trying to replicate that success again. That's what they're yeah. doing. So. What do you think about this sensation, Joe? So, I have the set. Mm-hmm. I, I currently still have it, and it's full of Iron Mans. Yep. So, you, you were part of that trend. That's great. I actually wasn't. I got into it later. I was just like, because I collect Marvel, and I was like, I just got to the point where I was like, how many Iron Mans do I not have? Like, yeah. Just, you know, because I got them. And Iron Man's not my top character. It's not like I'm, like, crazy about it. I'm like, Cap's my, my top character, then mm-hmm. probably Spider-Man. But I do like Iron Man, and he got better progressively, but... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think get once I got the Silver Centurion, then I was like, 
might as well get the cheap ones. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's expensive. I, you mm-hmm. know, I've got, I don't know how many I'm missing, but I have the, the big three, which are the expensive ones, Silver Centurion, Iron Patriot, and then the Space Iron Man. Yes. White. Those are like the expensive ones. So mm-hmm. I should probably finish the collection, but it's a great set. You you can fill it up very quickly. You probably need to get two. I probably need to get two to add and stack or it on top. Or the expansions, or yeah. Uh, and then I, I did get the newer one as well, because, mm-hmm. you know, they keep making cool Iron Man suits. They're cool. I, I can't hate on it, you know? So it's a good set. It was 60 bucks when it came out. It came with some unique ones, like the Mark V and 40. The black 40, and gold yeah, and the black and gold and one, yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, it's the Saints logo, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but no, those two, both really good, and they only came in that. So, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's a great set. Yeah. I won't, I won't, you know. And that was the first time they came out with Mark One, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. That came in that. That was exclusive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say, though, the hype for the Infinity sets was awesome. Infinity yeah. War. Mm-hmm. Great. And then the hype before we saw the in-game sets was so high. Mm-hmm. Then the in-game sets came out and they were pretty bad. Like, yeah. It was not the same The level. War Machine Buster? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Never was in the movie. It was just like, what is this? Yeah. Uh, Captain America's bike. What the heck are we looking at? <laughs> the compound are these a, are these battle? Like aim agents too? Or sort of? No, no, no that was a different yeah, thing. Yeah. The compound battle? Mid. Mm, yeah. Mid. <laughs> Some good figs, but bad set. This was the only one that was really like, okay, we know it's not from the movie, but like, this is great. This is what we've been wanting for a while. Yeah. And that, I think, helped with its success. Is the rest of the sets around it? Yeah, the <laughs> peripherals in that year were not the same, even though Marvel's excitement was still at a yes. fever pitch. So yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, good good point there, Joe. But, all right, uh, Landon, what's the next one on your list here? Yeah. Are you... Oh, yeah, you already did. I just covered Iron Man. No, you're good. What's um, the next so one? So the got? next one we got is the Quinjet from the first of uh, Avengers. Oh. See if we're going to try and yeah, you got know, block us. But, um... Yeah, this one's a really good set. They recently came out with a new Quinjet, mm-hmm. and in my opinion, I think the build is a little bit more. Yes. But I'm rating this one better just because of the figures. Mm-hmm. Uh, it comes with the Iron Man, it comes with Loki, Thor, Black Widow, and one of the Jatari. But um, I'm not sure the retail on this one, whenever it came out, I think it was 79 or 99. I think it was 80, yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, it also comes with Loki's um, thing that he rides on His the chariot thing. Around. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This one, uh, this one was a good set, but rating it just because the figs, in yeah. my opinion. Well, those are the classic lineup of original, characters. Yeah. I mean, this set is so good, they had to do a remake. You know, that, that, <laughs> exactly. That's what it was. That's what a, it was. Spot for spot remake. It's, you know, it's so, yeah. almost exactly the same, almost the same figures, too, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not Similar. much difference. Uh, and I have the new one, and I love it, but this one is great, and this is one I wanted for a long time and never mm-hmm. got it. So when the new one came out, I was like, I'll just get the new one. But exactly. Great, great set. That Loki, he's still really a good Loki. Like mm-hmm. he looks very yeah. accurate. The horns, when that, that's, I mean, that was a, they made that for him, and yeah. it, it's a great piece. Now, on, on subject of the build, I actually really like this Quinjet build. This really still holds up yeah. pretty yeah. well. Even, I mean, obviously the new one's a little more polished. They yeah. have uh, thousands of new pieces to work with and make right. it more sleek. They didn't have as many. But uh, this is a solid, cool, angular <laughs> sculpture of a build, and so I really like that. That construction as well but yeah. yeah the figures are just so solid they, they sell the set right there yeah <laughs> exactly. and this one this one's at the store available right yes. now sealed i think uh, we right? got sealed and i think we had a pre-owned one oh, nice. yeah. certified pre-owned so if you want the classic version next to the new version we've got there you go you mm-hmm. have both of them it's awesome sweet yeah. all right so we've mentioned it but now we're going to talk about it the third one on my list number three coming in on the podium mm-hmm. is the daily bugle from 2021 what a set. I was very excited when the set came out, as were most Marvel fans. We talked about it a ton. You were going to get three of them. I was going to get three of them, and then he I didn't like, get any. <laughs> my bank was like, nah. We're not <laughs> I'm sorry. You have no money. Yeah. <laughs> but I was so excited, and I, at this point, like, didn't have the budget for a lot of big sets. I, I still don't, but <laughs> <laughs> this was one I did buy as soon as VIP access. I was mm-hmm. that excited for it. It was just... I was like, this is just crazy. This is an amazing set. The figures, there's like 25 of them, a ton of figs. Also, it stands like this tall. It's huge, yeah. And it's just a flat building. But, you know, as, as it looks very repetitive build, it was actually a lot of fun, very mm-hmm. different uh, each level you went. And, I mean, really, the figures are just amazing. I know you have uh, one figure in particular you really <laughs> like, Firestar. Yep. Um, great figure. Um, Punisher. 
Daredevil, like, dude, when yeah. th- that was exciting, everyone was like, oh my gosh, we finally got a Daredevil figure. Yeah. Finally got a Punisher figure. There was so much hype around that. And we also got a ton of other good ones in it, mm-hmm. too. Wasn't Blade in it, too? There, was yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what yeah. the heck? Yeah. Blade showed up. Yeah. Like, come on. There was a ton of good figs. I, I can't even think of them all. But It's like 20 They're figs, all covering yeah. it right now, and I have that beside the Sanctum, so mm-hmm. I just need to get the Avengers Tower to go. Let's play it. <laughs> there exactly. you go. Anyone so, who would like to donate. <laughs> so, Landon, have you gotten a uh, Daily Bugle now or still haven't I, gotten I, it? No, I don't have room for it. Oh, I, man. I have no room. Space is tight. I, one day, one day. One, one day, I'll, I'll get the three that I promised. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll just all offer. three, yeah. Thankfully, exactly. I would say the Daily Bugle is pretty approachable here at the store because mm-hmm. we usually have a built one in for I think a, we have a discount. One, yeah. 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 So, it's something that can still be acquired, oh, not yeah. too badly. So, but man, this is a cool set. And this is the first of the modular uh, Marvel sets, which were like, everyone was like, oh, this is such a cool set. And they were like, wait a second, there's Technic pin connections on the side. There could be more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then when the Sanctum came out, we're like, it's yeah. happening. This was a big home run for Marvel in yeah. contrast to some of the other big sets that we've talked about already. But um, yeah. yeah, the figures are great. I, I would have definitely put this on my list, but you know more about it. You have it. I do not have it. I pro- I'm like, Landon, I need to collect it. At some yeah, point. there so, you go. Yeah, great set, Joe. Um, let's see, what do I got? Okay, uh, in contrast to the giant, um, you know, Huge building, twenty figures. Let's go down to small scale. Let's go to the quantum. Let's realm. go to the there quantum realm really quick and talk about Ant Man Final Battle Ooh. seven six zero oh, seven six zero three nine. And I really love this set because I I like the first Ant Man movie. That's a great, great movie. It surprised a lot of us because it's a character that you really think is kind of silly, like Aquaman. It's like oh, yeah. he just he talks to fish. Oh, Ant Man, he rides ants around. He's tiny. Oh, that's so funny. No, he, he was actually a great movie. Great story. Great characters. Yeah. And um, we're not talking about the sequels as much. I think they were still pretty good. Second one, great. Second Third one, I yeah. will not watch it again. <laughs> anyway, um, but the first one was a classic, and uh, th- this set really perfectly captures it yeah. in a small, playful package. Mm-hmm. Um, now it's super expensive to get, yeah, but it's like a hundred bucks set. Back then, $20. it was like thirty or forty. It was twenty right? Okay, twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, the giant ant. Great little build. Um, you got Anthony Ant Man, <laughs> which was a super valuable figure for a, a stretch yeah, there it's a too. Yeah, good Ant Man too. And then uh, you've also got the what, what was the bad guy's Yellow name? Jacket. Yellow, yeah. Yellow Jacket. That's it. And Darren. He, Darren. <laughs> Darren Cross. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he's got that cool transparent yellow kind of so cool. Yeah. Permeating his. And with the outfit. back pieces they added on, the wings, so it looks like yeah. you actually got the lasers. Yeah. So a um, couple of great figures. Also came with another figure. I'm trying to remember now. It came with a Hank Pym. Yes. In an Ant-Man outfit that was black and red. Just a random figure. Kind of yeah, random, so. never showed up in the movie at well, all. I, I think there was, like, there was like a split he, second, and it showed like a flashback of his suit. Yeah, but it was the same but as the was, other Ant-Man, so it's cool that oh, they yeah, gave him right. a different style. It's like a comic style. version. Yeah. It, was, it looks really cool. It still looks really cool, and I think the head is just like Gandalf's head. Yeah. But, <laughs> old, old guy head. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's all standard old guy. But great figure as well. So getting those three... They're all still unique to that set. Mm-hmm. So, pretty cool. I think uh, the Darren Cross is probably the most elaborate, but the Ant-Man and yeah. Hank Pym figures are awesome, too. But the final detail that I really like about this is the uh, upscaled yeah. Lego bricks, because they're, they're miniature <laughs> it's, it's in this awesome, scene. So it's right? The playing of scales there is really fun. I have a friend, um, he actually was making like some upscaled Lego bricks for a uh-huh. scene, and he had to get like a hundred of the yellow Lego studs. <laughs> he was that. having difficulty finding all the stickers oh, now because boy. the set's so collectible. I'm but sure, yeah. uh, at the time, it was a great set. Hopefully, we see more stuff in that kind of fun play scale size. Yeah. And we are, but um, this is a great one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing set. I remember really wanting it, and I, mm-hmm. I just never got it. I, I did get the figs, though. I got multiple ants. I don't have any of the figures, Fair. but I have multiple ants. Somehow they ended up in my bulk, or I got parts of them, so I could probably build the small ant brigade that, here. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. do that the wings are cool pieces. Ant- yeah. Anthony. Landon, Landon, did you ever collect this set? I did, all? yeah. Oh, there you go. I actually had that one, and then the one that they made for the second movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as well. I yeah. remember getting that one because I missed out on the other one. I was like, yeah. I have to get this one. <laughs> exactly. Because it came <laughs> with the wasp, too, which was right. really, really cool. This one doesn't have the wasp figure, but she, she wasn't, wasn't in it. Yeah, right, so exactly. at the time, it didn't make sense. I think it was interesting, kind of like what we were talking about with Hank. Pym, because the only other one that they made it was the blue version, comic one, which was mm-hmm. giant. It was weird. Giant it was, man. Yeah, considered giant man, but it's Hank Pym, and yeah, it's, it's like a drastic change because you had like the blue comic one, and then you had the yeah. one in the black, black and red. red yeah. Pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Very interesting set. Well, what's your right, so the next set, set we got on the list will be we'll start with this one. I think save the best, yeah, for, save last. The best for last. Yeah, yeah. So uh, seven six zero five one. 
it's the airport battle from Captain America Civil War. came mm-hmm. out back in 2016. This one was loaded with a lot of figs. It actually came so, with so miniature Ant Man and then yeah. the giant Ant Man. Yes, not, speaking of Ant Man, not, yeah. not the standard Ant Man size, but it came you know yeah, giant yeah. and small, which was really cool. But um, also came with a what is that considered the, like a small version of the Quinjet? I guess it came that, with one no, of those. that that was a Quinjet. Yeah. It was yeah. considered a, a play scale version. Yeah, right, it was a little a smaller, smaller scale. And then but it came with like the control tower as well. Yeah, but it was mm-hmm. loaded with figs. You got um, you know, you got Bucky with it. Yeah, you got dude. Iron Man. You got Captain America. Wanda, Vision, Vision, yep. War Machine, a great and the both Machine. aliens like we were naming. I think Agent 13's in there. Yeah, which is cool that we've got her. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's I think the only affordable fig from that set. <laughs> yeah, she's the only like. <laughs> yep. she's under ten bucks. I want to say. Yeah, because everyone, everyone else is. They nailed those figs. Exactly, man. they're all I so agree. good. I can mean, we, can we talk about the scene for a minute too? How yeah. amazing it, that yeah, was. Yeah, and that's exactly. also that helps you know because the scene's awesome, and then of yeah. course you have this, and like we were mentioning earlier. A year later, they came out with another scene that comes with a tanker truck because it gets thrown around, blown up. That came with the Vision, the Spider Man, the Hawkeye, and Captain America. So yeah. that you got more of those figs so you could complete your scene. You could I, I think I think that's the one Vision came in. I don't think Vision came in. No, he didn't come. He didn't in this one. one. Oh, okay. So my bad. That, that's the other one that you go. You can get yes, to go with it. That was the Vision with the right color stone. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> exactly. There um, was a little controversy really on. That was always funny. But no, dude, the best War Machine that came in a set is this one there's the yeah. one there's the Bricktober one but the, we won't count that for now that's still I think the best Wanda they've ever made yeah mm-hmm. with the I, she has I that know that yeah. Yeah. piece yeah. the Winter Soldier man I was so excited when we got a fig of him a great figure and then I have the buildable Ant-Man because the giant he, he's man. like built like a minifigure which is really cool so he's just like an upscaled minifigure which mm-hmm. is cool right yeah, not from from a similar year. There was the Wonder Woman set with the giant Ares yes. that that didn't really appear in the movie. <laughs> yeah. But this one, Giant Ant Man was like was a central part it, of that it, battle. Yeah, so it was it, it mainly sold the set. Too. Yeah, it, it was terrific. Want to get their hands on that? This was one that was going to be on my list, but uh, I think you I, know yeah, just as much, he, he if not more about it. I was like, I'm taking that. one. I'll let you take that, Landon. That's good. great set. Yeah, Fantastic set. One. Yeah, um, Joe, what's the next one you want to bring up? All right, so my second to last is. One of my favorite sets. It's a Spider-Man set. It's the Ultimate Bridge Battle, and the name of it is Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. Oh, like, fully. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, if we're mentioning it around the store, we'll say the Bridge Battle. Yeah, we all know what we mean. But it is a great set. It came out in 2016, which was kind of an era where they were doing a lot of random Spider-Man sets because there wasn't. I guess they didn't have a lot of move. Like they did three sets for winter or for a Civil War. They weren't mm-hmm. quite going all in into the MCU yet. Yeah. They were just making Marvel stuff. Mm-hmm. So this was the big set. It's like this big. I guess you could get two of them and make it a full bridge. I don't know. I haven't thought Theoretically, yeah. So. But it's a great set. It's a nice bridge piece. It looks really cool. It looks like an old style bridge. And there's a lot of play features like the bridge breaking off on the side with a... You can have a, a taxi, which is how I have it, going off the edge like it's been <laughs> smashed. Uh, and then dangling over the water I as they do. At least forty figures all over it. Like I, it's so hard to find spots for them now. I know I could do it on the Bugle instead, but I just like doing them on that. So I have like twenty Spider Mans on there, and then a, all the villains on there. It 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 looks great. It's, it's chaotic. It's beautiful. But the figs that it came with are uh, most of them are unique. It mm-hmm. Came with Scarlet Spider. It's the only time we've gotten sp- uh, Scarlet Spider. He's pretty valuable. Yeah. Okay, he. He is that yeah. the, not the one with the hair? No, Spider Girl. That's the one I'm thinking yeah. of. There you go. You get there. <laughs> that that is a unique style of Spider Girl that comes in that set. Gotcha. Um, Scorpion, mm-hmm. great figure. Uh, Craven the Hunter, I love that one. Did we? Yeah. Did we not pull? I don't think any of us chose yeah. that. They're all great. We figs. missed out on the figure. We have to do it again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Part and two. And then uh, the Green Goblin mm-hmm. with the like magenta coloration. The good coloration. With arm yeah. printing. Best green did goblin. I pick that one in our video? You I think might, I did get that one. I think you did. Yeah. So at least one bridge battle fig got in there. Yeah. And then, of course, Spider-Man. <laughs> so yeah. great, great fig selection, and it's it's just an amazing set. I mm-hmm. like it a lot. And like I said, I covered it in many figs. I find it really amusing that you've made that your mini fig parking station. Yeah. That's just really great. I mean, <laughs> and, it's perfect for it, right? And, I mean, it does, and I also have the Bugle. So, I mean, I don't know why they're not on both, but really all the Bugle has is the ones from the Bugle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't forget the best fig from that. Aunt May. Oh, did I not say <laughs> Aunt May? Yeah. yeah. Gosh, can't forget. She's currently screaming in my taxi. <laughs> yeah, she's, <laughs> she's in the taxi yeah, falling into the river. She'll yeah. be all right. Oh, you dear. know, one thing that that set reminds me of is, did you ever played the uh, Lego Marvel superheroes? Some, not much, so but some. So you couldn't 
get past the bridge on there. Did you ever play it? I didn't, but okay. there, there was there an was, obstacle. Yeah, there, yeah. there was a bl- uh, bridge in New York, and you couldn't get past it because you had to unlock it. That was it. like the end. And yeah, it kind of reminded me of that set. Nice. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Giving you some flashbacks to that game. <laughs> just a little just bit, running yeah. into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Now, th- so the bridge, it, it's not the Brooklyn Bridge. It's just a I bridge. I don't know. It could be. It's, it's a bridge in New York. A, yeah, it's just a one bridge. Of the okay, good to know. They, yeah. they have a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so um, I have my last set here, but before we do that, do we have any honorable mentions? I, I do don't have, a couple. have that many. I have a couple because yeah. my list got way too long. Like I mentioned, the Avengers Tower would be on here if I had it. Mm-hmm. But two other ones is the Guardian Ship, the orange one, upscaled. Yeah, the display one. It's yeah. a great set. I just couldn't make it beat any of these other ones. It's a great set. I do like it a lot. I have it. It's great. Mm-hmm. The other one is the actual good big Hulkbuster. Yes. That one I almost put on here, but I mean, it just couldn't beat the other ones. But it's also a really good set. It's upscaled. It's about this tall, which is it good? it's big. Mm-hmm. And it looks great. I really like that set a lot. And, and then I, once this came out, I was like, wow, I'm glad I have the other one because that's crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, you already got the best version of the whole yeah, poster. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Mm-hmm. Any uh, other yeah, well, one that came to mind. I don't know the set number. I can try and pull it up real quick. But it's the first Daily Bugle. It oh, came with yeah. um, came with Nova, Beetle. Mm-hmm. Um, Jay Jonah. Yeah. I actually have the build for that. Is J. Jonah Jameson in the new Bugle, too? Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. They, they updated that That'd one. be bad if he was missing from that. <laughs> Set number is 76005. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's nowhere it's, near the new Bugle, but, it's, but it's, it's, nice. it's still a close second. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing I have to mention before I start with my last set is that the the other versions of the Hulkbuster are great, too, like the Infinity War one and yeah, the new, the Infinity latest Star version. One. Beautiful. Yeah. Super awesome. So they've done some amazing Hulkbusters and some less than amazing Hulkbusters. Yeah. But um, we, we don't need to go into too much detail. They, none of those made our list. Yep. So um, my final one is the Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. And mm. the name is deceitful because the real focus of this set is the fact that it has Lego Deadpool. Yeah. Which is the only time we've seen it and probably the only time we will ever see I it. I would because probably of agree. The, the Deadpool movies are not for kids, and Lego <laughs> is very much for kids, and they're trying to focus on that demographic mm-hmm. in many ways. So um, I would find it very surprising if they brought it back uh, in another set. If it does eventually show up, it'll be in something like the Daily Bugle, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of doubting yeah. it. Um, the set number is 6866-2012, uh, just under 200 parts, and it was $20 for Deadpool back in 2012 and I cannot believe it because he's like $50 now still. And that's um, just him. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Wolverine that was uh, for that, a while that was the only way we could get Wolverine. Is that is that the one with the the hood or no? Yes. Does it's he have not, the hood? It's not, it's not the hairpiece one. I don't think. Is, I can't. I feel like it's I'd not. have to look at the picture now. I think it might have been the hair, but I'm not sure. I think, sure. It, I think it was the it hair be, one, actually. It might be the hair piece. It comes but with a red helicopter that was completely yeah. useless. It was just parts. It's just um, a helicopter. But the Wolverine comes in a little gray motorcycle, which is fun. But not only does it come with those two figs. It's well. Magneto, who is probably my favorite Marvel villain. <laughs> there you go. And uh, he, classic Magneto. And what color is he? He's red. What, what is, is he wearing on his He's got his cool yeah, helmet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there so, it is. The better version of Magneto from many, many years and ago now. it's a now, great so. looking figure. Yeah, so it still holds up well. It looks a lot like Gandalf for some reason. Yeah. So. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just similarities, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why. Yeah. Keep it's, dreaming. Mm. <laughs> No, same <laughs> you say yeah. Anyway, um, but I, I do love this set. I don't, I think, I'm not, I might have a Magneto at home, but I need to double check. And I, if I don't, I need to buy one pronto. Yes. But um, I do have several Wolverines. I don't know if I have this version, but I would love to get a Deadpool one day. I don't know if we'll, we'll see one in the store. It's been years yeah. now. So. I know. It's just that <laughs> when we get them in, they're always heavily played with. Like They're chewed on. They're brutal. Like, I have not seen, like, we'll see one and be like, oh, does it look good? And you start looking at it and you're like. Nope, it doesn't. There's a tooth mark all the way through it. (laughs) It's it's been chewed on. It's just been played with so roughly. Everything's cracked or like the prints worn off. Mm -hmm. So it's, I don't know why it's that figure specifically, but never in good condition. Well, Deadpool was the favorite figure of many kids' collections. And they just got played with to death. And that's what they were made to do. And that's that's how it is. So hopefully Lego will see that that there was a huge market for... 18 over sets and people who want (laughs) you want Deadpool to be cussing at their minifigures that's funny (laughs) moving on but that was my last set Uh, that's the end of my list what you got moving on from that um, this will change eventually but as of right now I think the best Marvel set wow vehicle and figure wise is 6867 this is Loki's escape so this was whenever um, he hypnotized 
or not hypnotized, but he used yeah. the uh, pretty much the hypnotized staff him. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Hawkeye, possessed. Yeah. yeah, possessed Hawkeye mm-hmm. basically. And um, it's in the beginning of the first Avengers, and I believe retail for this was twenty bucks. So ba- back, you yeah. know, amazing 2012, price, twenty yeah. bucks. You get Loki, Hawkeye. Like we were saying, one of the best Lokis mm-hmm. and um, one of the best Iron Man. I like the original Iron Man, the way yeah. they look, the, you know, the mask piece. Very, helmet's very, very, great. And yeah. then the Hawkeye, great. between this one and the one from Civil War, uh, I don't Civil know which War one's, one's better. better. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're both about the same. But I like the one with the glasses, though. He looks pretty good. So. Fair. Yeah. yeah. This one, um, as of right now, like I said, this one's probably the best Marvel set. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's... It- Kind of shocking, but I mean, it is a great set. <laughs> fig wise and vehicle. I mean, the vehicle. I not do bad. love that shield. I mean, it's got the shield nice logo. Set shield. Yeah. It's, it's a great vehicle. Yeah, I don't Definitely. disagree. Now, I think that the success of this set really set the tone for Marvel sets it for did. a long time. Yeah. So it's for a sure. fantastic set. Loki, uh, Hawkeye, Iron Man, all those for twenty dollars. Sign me up. We we could see stuff like this every year and there be pretty go. good. So. Yeah. Great set, Lena. What do you think, Joe? I, Did you have this as a kid? I have had it. I think had at it. least you have all the figures. I have the figures. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't. I might not have that Hawkeye because hmm. I have the better ones. <laughs> you like the one with the spiky hair, not the slick hair. The spiky one's all right. Actually, the the well, it does have spiky hair, but the one from Civil War okay. with the purplish outfit. Mm. You got an issue with the OG ones? I like the purple better, but I do like like I like the outfit. I just don't understand why his hair is that color. Yeah, that, that, the, the hair is all yeah. slicked back. It is what it is. They might have been working from like movie Early stills years. or something. Usually, you know, how it goes. Like you know. mm-hmm. So, um, not bad, but the actual best Marvel set <laughs> ever. And well, this might these stand. are our favorite sets, so not the best yeah, ones. But so. this is the <laughs> best Marvel set ever. All right, change my mind. In the comments. I want to hear it in the comments if you if you agree with me if, or if you know one that's better. I mean, this is the best one. 76042, the shield helicarrier. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> it, this is just... <laughs> dun, dun, we have dun, a built one out here. Yeah, exactly. We have a dun. built one here. I This was my white well for a while. I got it, I think, well, early last year I got it finally. Amazing set. Just mm-hmm. phenomenal. It's... This big, you know, it looks just right. You've got the two different. Hold on. Um, Hold on. I'm going to go grab one real quick. Just <laughs> another table. It's, it's just too good. There we I go. Look at that, that bad boy. Right. Sit right, right down there. Sell it now. It's yeah, perfect. right. There you go. Thanks, Gary. Cool. Ooh, I'm going to have to agree with Joe. I haven't seen this one in person in a while. Yeah. All right, Mark pulled this uh, in here for us, guys. Yeah, I, just, so I just pulled it out of my pocket we, there. We, have a, we had a built one out in the store, so Mark yeah. went and grabbed it. But, um, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. This is the best Marvel set. It's Crank awesome. It. Uh, where's, the, where's the dial here? Oh, there it is. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Let's see if it's the works. There you go. Yeah. So you can also... Stiff, you can also you yeah, but you can also get... Uh, motor. motor and attach it, and these will all spin and rotate. Uh, so, it to talk so, yeah, just random guy. <laughs> um, so, this set also came with a little display stand for the five figures that came with it Nick Fury, Great Fig, Maria Hill, Captain America without a hood on, mm-hmm. which is just a young Obi Wan face, but uh, <laughs> it came with Hawkeye and then um, Black Widow. Yeah. Great figs, and they all come in a display stand that has this big shield built logo, right? Mm-hmm. Which is really cool. Then you get to the rest of the set. You've got all the engines, obviously, that run. You've got the two runways here. You've got the command station. It, it's got a beautiful display stand with a display plaque on it. I mean, what more cool could you ask for, angle. for, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. There's more. This comes off, and you have the you whole have the control inside. room. Oh, wait. This has... Oh, oh, oh. Sort of powered up. There you go. It is powered up. Probably just needs new batteries. Need some batteries. That's awesome. Well, if you guys want the bill one that's here, it has uh, all the functions already in Interesting. it. Interesting. That's sick. But yeah, see, it's got the control room. It's got the spot where Nick Fury uh, has to turn. Mm-hmm. How, does, how does Fury look at these? He turns. Oh, it sounds <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> but then you've got all the shield agent st- spots right there, and then you've got the you know the glass windshield in the front where they all always are looking out from the front. So, mm-hmm. I mean, this is just... It's an amazing set. It's I, I don't see fantastic. how you can not like this set. Yeah. So we've got a built one here if you guys want it. I think but we have the light kit also attached to it on the inside. It has the lights has in lights it in from the front. It's not the light kit, but it's a part of the what you could this do to make it This slightly modded, yeah. yeah so. so great set. I mean, just gorgeous build. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I can see why you want this in your collection. This is a yeah. huge it's display. You had it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely had to get that. Yeah. Me and Landon are just like drooling a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, my favorite Marvel set. 
and the best Marvel set. Uh, definitely an argument to be made here, sitting on the table. But um, yeah. change my mind. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's probably wraps up the video for I, us here. I, I think think that'll um, be uh, about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you think this is the best Marvel set, or if you have another contender. Maybe the Daily Bugle is the best. Maybe it's, the Avengers Tower is the best. When you get it, you build it. You never we'll know, see. So. It's gonna be hard to beat this. This is a tough challenge, yeah, for sure. But. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for uh, yeah. compiling a list yeah. of your favorite Marvel sets. This has been a fun video. Fun times. And we'll have a bunch of other cool content coming out soon. Yeah. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, right. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.